Our first guest tonight is a talented singer, songwriter, and actress who serves as both an executive producer and star of Only Murders in the Building, which is streaming now on Hulu. Let's take a look. After every date, I just want to go home and plant my face in a pillow and never go out again. Okay, wow. Mm. You need to relax, okay? Just have fun, laugh, flirt. Isn't it insulting to flirt now? Well, who the hell knows? Suddenly it's rude to tell a secretary she looks pretty in a pair of slacks. No, to that whole sentence. Compliment her purse. If it isn't on their body, you can like it. No, again, to every word that's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Please welcome to the show and the studio, Selena Gomez. Hi! Thank you so much for being here. Hi, And thank you. We're so happy to have you here with us in New York. I'm so happy to be here. It's my first time. It's a lovely, a lovely show. And it's a really great show about New York City as well that you guys got to shoot here. Yeah, I got to live here for seven months and hang out with two legends. <laughs> really, um, they are two legends. Yeah. Uh, divas though, right? Complete diva. The yeah. worst, the most difficult people I've ever worked with. Yeah, I mean, we were reading, you know, page six every day was they, each one wanted a bigger trailer than the other one. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously you started in TV. A lot of people know you uh, from that first. You haven't done scripted television in a long time. Were Steve and Marty one of the uh, uh, pulls to this, or, or did you come to it before you knew they were involved? No, I, it was, I always knew they were involved, but I got a call and, and I just, I don't know, I love true crime and I just, I had this, I don't know, the concept just was so cool and I enjoyed working with both of them, it's been great. It is a, a show about a murder that takes yeah. place in a building and three podcast uh, fans who then both go about trying to solve the murder and starting a podcast themselves. Yes. But you you do come by this honestly. You are being serious when you say that you like true crime. Definitely. I went to Crime Con with my mom. Okay. Yes. This is very exciting. I did not know that Crime Con <laughs> was a thing. Nobody does. I don't know why. I, well, I mean, it sounds like a place where a crime might be committed. You might want to steer a kid. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I can see that. And again, there's no judgment. I've been to Comic Con multiple times. Where is Where was the Crime Con? Um, uh, we went to Florida. Okay. And um, that, had... by the way, tracks. <laughs> 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 yes. <Yeah>, <laughs> Didn't yeah. realize that till now. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but it's it's wild. They give you a case that's still open, and and we are able to solve it with them. I mean, that. So it's not like okay. So this is interesting because at Comic Con, it's like you know, oh, they're you know they're selling comic art over here or yeah. old back issues there. This is is it one crime crime? Yeah, crime? basically. And really? you're meeting with the forensic team. You're meeting with the family members. They give you all the depositions. I mean, it's completely legit. I thought I was a full-blown like crime solver. I, I felt like I was gonna solve the case. Do you feel like you were better at it or your mom was better at My it? My mom was much better at it because I was terrible. Okay. Yeah. So in real life, you don't think you could actually crack a Hell case? Hell no. Nope. <laughs> so is this? Don't come to me. <laughs> <laughs> so is this everybody? I mean, were you sitting there? Were you taking notes? Yeah. Where? Okay. It's just fun. I don't know how to explain it. It was a weekend and we, I don't know, just were around people that loved it too. And then at the end, is the crime solved? No. Okay. That's the, <laughs> that's the, I think that's the hard part. Yeah, they say the beginning of crime comms is the most fun. <laughs> At the end, they're like, thank you for coming. The killer runs free. No, exactly. That's what it felt like. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> did you, I mean, obviously, you're a very recognizable person. When you go to Crime Con, did you have to go out of your way to sort of disguise yourself? No, it was great. People didn't care. It was yeah. so nice. They were so focused on that. I yeah. mean, and I don't know if they were my demographic. I, I don't <laughs> think they gave a that I was there. <laughs> That's true. Plus, if you wore a disguise, I feel like the one place they would notice the quickest yeah. is Crime Con. Yes. They're very on to things, I like disguises. <laughs> um, you have this situation where obviously uh, Steve and Marty have known each other for a very long time. I also know them to be incredibly welcoming people. Yes. Uh, it just must have been very fun to be on set with them. It really was. I think they, if anything, have taught me so much just about comedy. I mean, they have a humor that just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. And it's just, it's the best. And I love watching them do what they do. And I love being a part of it and trying to live up to it, you know? it's It's been such a blast. It's really true what you say. It doesn't 
exist anymore, but the way they do it makes it seem very new. Yes. And I think that speaks to how they treat it so much like a craft. Yes, I agree. And obviously, Steve, I couldn't be more uh, happy or for because this was his baby too, with it's John Hoffman, of course. That's really nice. Um, so you have, uh, you have a beauty line. Yes. And you're also using it as a platform to talk about mental health. Explain Correct. like why that was important and how you're sort of marrying the two. When I originally wanted to start a cosmetics line, I, I said and I made it very clear that I want it to be a brand that feels effortless, that feels like it doesn't have to be about what we look like. So I just wanted to eliminate this idea of perfection, all these girls kind of looking the same and you feel like you need to look like them. And I wanted my makeup to be easy to use and, and just something to make women and men feel comfortable. I don't know, it's uh, very important. We have some here, it's called Rare Beauty. Yes, it is. Um, and uh, this is uh, this is our what? What is this? So this just came out. This is my mascara. Okay, so yes. obviously I've never applied mascara myself. And so, I'm but we're gonna very see, proud of you. We're gonna see exactly okay. how effortless it is. Okay, great, let's do it. This is so, <laughs> I guess I have technically, well, no. Have I did you? have, well, Rihanna applied it to me once. Oh. Whatever, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> I'm very, it's something I'm very private about. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. you wanna start. Okay at the bottom. Okay. And then kind of just. Well, see, I feel like right away it's deeply unfair. Well. <laughs> yep, go then push up. Oh, wow. This is right away, this is making a huge difference. Did you see? <laughs> I mean. Oh my gosh, it looks fabulous. I also like, you know what? This is fun to do together. I know, it really <laughs> is. Like that's the part of this that I immediately really like. It's like, you know when like, I just feel like there's not a thing guys have where we're like, Having a nice conversation, but also like doing something. Yeah, this is very cool. This is great. I'm I know. just gonna do one eye okay. so we can see the difference. All right, I just would finish both. Oh, this is just All right. so proud of I you. I mean, it really makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I did. I thought this was gonna be like, ha, ha you're bad at it because you're a guy, but I did great. Yeah, you did a great job. Now, I do feel like I got some in my eye. <laughs> But can I say, I think it's made with really good material because there's no burning. No, that's, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. I think I, I got some in my eye and it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's really nice to have you for the first time. And again, um, the show is wonderful and I, I can't wait to watch more of it. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. You guys. Uh, that's Selena Gomez. Check out Only Murders in the Building on Hulu now with new episodes releasing on Tuesdays.